Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. If you looked at my other video, you saw how to uh, make minor repairs on your stove if you have a gas stove with an igniter. Uh, some of the most common problems are a clogging of the uh, orifices and I show how to fix that. Now I'm going to show you how to clean your stove and make it look like new because a lot of times you'll get those stains on there that you really just can't get off. Well, there's an easy way to do it. Let me show you. I use a pumice stick. This right here is made to clean ceramic. You can clean rust off with tools or anything like that. It shows you a stove. So this is nothing new that I'm bringing to you. It's just a lot of people don't know about it. You can pick this up at Walmart or any one of your grocery stores a lot of times and a lot of home improvement stores carry them in the cleaning section. Let me show you how it works. You see these stains that just won't come out. You can try to clean those with Comet or anything like that and it's not going to get them clean but that puma stick will get this looking like new. This is what it will look like when you finish cleaning it with a puma stick. Before I clean all the grills and burners I'm going to take this apart and take the top off so we can get all these little crevices right here and then also you will see how to get to the igniter and the other parts in case anything else goes wrong on your stove. So I'm going to take my Mega Pro screwdriver and unscrew this. The great thing about Mega Pro is they have multi screwdrivers that have all the popular bits in here. So I have 14 in the back and I have a, so a socket right here in the front. So I'm going to take this whole thing apart. Now right here I'll use my nut driver on it. Take this off. This one's going to have three nuts on it where the other ones have two. But if you see on your particular stove other nuts on there or anything that's holding this bracket down, you want to make sure that you take everything off before you remove this top because you're going to pull that gas line with you. Make sure you push down on them to see that everything is, is loose. When removing these tops, you'll have a clip over here and on the other side over here. Now, you don't want to chip this, so you have to be careful with it. They recommend using a putty knife or something that's really uh, a little bit rigid, but that can slide in there and it's wide to pop it up. If it's too stiff, do that. But a lot of times, I'll take my screwdriver and just use this. And what you'll do is get a flathead, take a towel, and wrap around this so I don't scratch it or mess it up. I can get the flat part in there and just pry it up. They're pretty stiff sometimes, they're pretty tight, but just be careful when you're doing it and you'll pop it off without causing any damage. Now you take this side, same thing. That one came off a lot easier. All right. This just lifts up. Here's my Puma stick. You can see it comes in a block with paper or with plastic on it. I just peel it back and use this as I go. And it, it, it's crumbly. If you take it, you can chip it off. But it's very abrasive. So it's, it's really great for, for ceramic and things like that. But it's not good for painted surfaces or glass. Don't use it on that because you could scratch it. Let me show you right here. We'll start cleaning it. I'll just wet it up a little bit. And you'll see it'll take all of this off and make it look new. Doesn't sound real good, but it really doesn't cause any problems at all. It will make this look like new. Like I said, this is great for ceramic sinks, toilets, if you have water stains from hard water or anything like that, this is the only thing that will take it off. Now we'll take a rag. And if you see any spots that you miss, just go back and hit it again. If you want to take and replace this burner, You just unscrew it, and I use a crescent wrench to do that. You have a compression fitting on there, so you don't need any tape. 
to put it back on. Now right here, you can see your igniter. You flip it upside down, there's just a retaining clip that holds it in place. Sometimes it's a little stiff to get out, so you'll need some pliers. You pull that out, and when you pull that out, you can slip this up and take the clip loose on the back. Now you can replace your igniter. So I'm going to put my igniter back in, of course, and get this back in place. I just wanted to show you how it was done. Now you can take this whole piece down to your uh, local dealer, and you can get a new piece. Just take this off, your tubing right here, if it's in good shape. If this is the only problem, or if this is the only problem, you can replace this. There are a number of places online where you can order these parts. All you have to do is take your model number of your uh, stove and the make, and you Google it, and you'll find, you'll find all kind of parts place, places for it. First, I'm going to get my retaining clip back on here. Make sure that this little wedge part faces down right here. You want that to face down away from your burner. Get it down in that groove because if you look right here, see how it's grooved out? This collar is just going to snap right in place on there to keep it, in, keep it tight. So we'll take it and slip it back in the hole. And I'll make sure I got this right. My eyes aren't that great anymore. So I have to make sure I have it right. All right. Now I'll take this, whoop, plug it back in, or I won't have an igniter. Now we'll take this and put it back down on here. Snug it up. You do not want to over tighten this. You just want to have it nice and snug. Once you get it snug, you go a tiny bit more past it, and that's it. That's all you need. Now that it's clean, what you'll do is put it together the same way you took it off, except for reverse. There's one other thing I want to show you, how to clean your glass, and this is how I do it. On the inside of my oven, to clean the glass, I use a straight razor, because it takes everything off without scratching the glass. You'll have to degrease it first if you have any degreaser or you, you find any grease on there. Just clean it off a little bit, dry it, and come back over and scrape it right off. Once you do that, you can come back again with a cleaner. Don't use abrasive uh, cleaners on this. You really don't want to scratch that glass up. That's it for now. If you found this video helpful, hit like for me. Check out paulstoolbox.com for all my archive videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next project.